What? Noelle? Thank goodness I finally found you! I haven't seen anyone since I was transported away. It was really lonely. Didn't see anyone, huh? Then you're not hurt? Oh, yeah, I'm totally fine. Um, what about you? Ah, uh, I'm alright. Been challenged a few times, but I've still got the keystone. I see. Good to hear it. By the way, have you managed to figure out anything about this world? No. I think Rachel might know something, though. I'd ask her for details, if I had any idea where she was. Oh, too bad. I haven't found much information either, but... I did feel something while I was walking around this place. Power of the Eye tell you anything? I'm sorry, it's something, but I don't really understand it. It's just... It's okay. Right now I need whatever information I can get. Just, uh, tell me what you're feeling. Okay. I feel like this world isn't really a world at all. It's more like a closed space. And some sort of observer is just barely keeping it together. It's a small and unstable place. That's why there's so little consistency from place to place. So there's an observer, huh? Yes, but I don't think it's a human. It's more... machine-like. Interesting. Tell me more. You! You're the first ones I fought. Calm down, we don't intend to fight you. Then what do you want? Just chill already, all we want to do is talk. Talk? Yeah, about this world. The Keystone, stuff like that. So at the end of the day, you're just another punk after this rock. Hey, I said that we're not here to fight, alright? How many times do I have to tell you? Whatever, I'll just cut to the chase. To be honest, we have a keystone too. What? What are you trying to pull here? Believe me now? Wow, he wasn't kidding. But it's a different color than ours. That's right. If what that voice told me is true, we've got to get all the other keystones in order to get back to our original worlds. Get the keystones, not protect them? You said other keystones. So does that mean we're not the only ones who have them? Yeah. In addition to the two we have here, there are two others, for a total of four. Guess we're supposed to fight over those. But that's everything we know. We still have no idea how this world is constructed, or what that voice's motives are. So we want whatever clues we can get. Now, we've told you what we know. Mind returning the favor? Ragna, what should we do? We really don't know much. Hell, we hardly even have a plan right now. That's fine by us. Whatever you can tell us would be appreciated. The more information we have, the better decisions we can make. Alright then. Thank you. Then let's get to it. In your conversation earlier, it sounded like you were discussing the existence of some sort of supervisor. Wait, were you eavesdropping? What's your problem? I may have accidentally overheard you. Anyway, is that true? Tell me, young lady. It's true. To elaborate, it seems as though the Supervisor isn't looking over a pre-existing world, but one they created and have full control over. A world created from scratch? Then what? Is this Supervisor some sort of god? I see. No wonder things seem so disturbingly artificial. Interesting. What is it, Lene? Have you figured something out? Yeah. This supervisor is likely holding the world together. Which would mean 
that there's an easy way out of here. Huh. So, you're saying if we beat this punk down, this place will just disappear? Seriously? What do you think, Noel? I think she's got the right idea. But even if we destroy this world, there's no guarantee that we'll go back to our original ones. Either way, it seems certain that we need to make contact with this supervisor. Right? It's not like we have any other leads. We should hurry up and find the bastard. Hey, uh, hate to interrupt, but... An acquaintance of ours probably knows something about this supervisor. Or, should I say, observer. What? Are you serious? That's awesome! We'll be out of here in no time! Well, that's a godsend. So where is this acquaintance of yours? How soon can we meet them? That's the problem. I've got no idea. We're looking for her right now. And what if we can't find her? I don't know. Uh, maybe we try to interrogate that one girl? Did I hear someone call for me? I think I did. Gah! If I so much as hear my name on the wind, I will run to the ends of the earth to meet my summoner. Well, 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 what is this? All the contestants we need for a two versus two tag battle? All in one place? Wait, no! We didn't want to fight! Where there is tag, there is battle. And where there is battle, there is tag. Ravna the Blood Edge and Noel Vermillion versus Hyde and Lene. Wait! Damn it! Stop! It's no use, Hyde. Trying to reason with her now will get us nowhere. Yeah, doesn't look like we've got a choice. But if we've got a fight, I'm going all out! Bring it! I wanted to see what you guys were capable of anyway. We won't go easy on you either! Tag battle start! Get ready! ready. Can't escape from crossing fate! Fight! Not so fast! Incredible work from both teams. There. The match is over. Now buzz off. Ah, I get it. You want to make your preparations for the next battle. I respect that. Well then, folks, I'll see you all at the next tag battle match. Ta-ta for now. <sighs> is she gone? I think so. <sighs> Ow. Every damn time. Gotta admit, though, you guys are pretty good. Damn, we're running out of time. What you told us earlier, is that everything you know? Yeah, that's about it. Uh, do you guys have anything? Sorry, but we don't have any information outside of what we told you. I wish we had more to share. Oh, wait. 
Tell us about that acquaintance of yours. You know, the one who might know something? We might not have any more information, but we could help you search for her at least. I guess so. No need for that, just stay out of our way. Rachna? Look, right now there are no guarantees. We don't have a plan. We don't know what's gonna happen in the future. And if you guys work with us, you may not see any return on your time investment. And if that happens... If that happens, we'll take your keystone. Hold on, Lene! That's... I'm sorry, Hyde. But I'm getting you back home alive, one way or another. I still owe you for what happened that night. You can't be serious. And that's why we should go our separate ways. Agreed. Let's go, Hyde. We have no more business here. This is stupid, but fine. See you later. Be careful out there. Y you too! Now what do we do? We need to find Rachel. Should we split up to look for her? Yeah. If we run into anyone while we're together, that voice will swoop in and push us into a battle. If you find Rachel, tell her to come see me right away. I don't know what she's hiding or what she intends to do. But I think she's gonna need this stone to do it. Understood. Leave it to me. Yeah, I'm counting on you. I'll search for Rachel. Make my way to the goal. Please, stop right there. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? You are... Ragna the Blood Edge, aren't you? That's never a good question. Then it's true. You are the man who holds the Keystone, and responsible for the slaughter of countless innocents. Don't try to deny it. It's all written down on this wanted poster. What? <laughs> Wait, that's... Aw, oh, seriously? That stupid poster followed me to this world too? The keystone you possess will decide the fates of the many people trapped in this world. I cannot leave it in the hands of someone as despicable as you. Please give it to me. If you hand it over peacefully, I can guarantee your safety. If not, well... This again? Give me a break. I'm sorry, but I can't just hand this thing over to some random stranger on the street. I see. That's too bad. Huh? Damn it, the Keystone! I'm sorry. I just barely missed. Nothing to worry about, as long as the Keystone is out of his hands. <laughs> Had a friend with you, huh? I wouldn't necessarily say friends. We're comrades, for now. United by a shared goal. A shared goal? What, more than just getting the hell out of here? Well, getting back home is part of it, of course. While we both wish to return to our respective worlds, we're not the only ones trapped here. I believe that we need to find a way to free everyone from this world. Besides, that voice is awfully suspicious. I really don't understand why it would put us through this whole tournament. I can't shake the feeling there's something going on behind the scenes. It's definitely up to something, I agree. But in that case, doesn't it make even less sense for us all to be fighting amongst ourselves? Oh, I'd say that's another matter entirely. While I can't vouch for the credibility of the wanted poster, leaving the Keystone to such an evil looking man is too great a risk. You're really judging me by the way I look? I'll keep him occupied. You grab the keystone. 
By Keystone, do you mean this? <gasps> you! Hazama! Oh, now don't give me that look. I come in peace. This time. There I was, all lonely and alone. And who do I overhear but an old pal from my world? What poor timing. To believe a friend of his would simply turn up like this. We are not friends. Stop screwing around. No need to be shy. Come on, tell them how close we are. There's not a single speck of friendship between us, you son of a bitch! More importantly, Raggy, that was quite a tongue lashing you were getting back there. Despicable, evil looking sister complex. You made that last one up! And you, young lady, said earlier that you were going to free everyone from this world, is that right? That's right. Do you have a problem with that? Not at all. In fact, I think it's a wonderful idea. Saving people you don't even know. Well, I could never see myself doing that. Ever. So tell me, do you have a plan of some sort? Well, um, we'll collect the keystone and... Hmm? What was that? Don't tell me you were trying to wrench the keystone from someone else's hands, insulting them all the while, without a plan of your own! What are you... Now, Raggy... <laughs> After all this, how could I not partner up with my old buddy from back home? The hell are you up to? I told you earlier, didn't I? I'm tied up in all of this, too. And, like you, I'm hoping to solve the mysteries of the Keystone and get out of this world. Now, contrary to all appearances, I am a busy man. So, in return for my help, let's see. Why don't you tell me everything you know? <sighs> Fine. I'll trust you, for now. But only until we escape from this world. Works for me. The tag battle train is leaving the station! Ish. You again? This time, we've got two pure and lovely maidens versus two sketchy men who reek of dark back alley. I refuse to leave the Keystone in the hands of miscreants like you. Oh, I wouldn't dare harm anyone who believes they fight on the side of justice. You might seem harmless on the surface, but I know what you really are. You can't disguise yourself from me. Hey, Raggy! These girls really aren't playing around. Oh, and just a reminder, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Keep that in mind if you're thinking about tagging me in. Shut up, damn it! Being teamed up with you is already hell! Let's see those fists are flying! Ready? Fight! Get, get ready! ready. Can't escape from crossing fate! Fight! Pardon me! Ooh, scary! As the dust settles, 
Ragna and Hazama stand victorious. They're so strong. No wonder they've managed to endure so many battles so far. Wow. Who would have thought I'd ever get to fight with you, Ragna? Fate really does love to play little tricks on us, doesn't it? Damn it. If it weren't for these stupid rules, I'd kill you right here and now. Uh, I will not leave the keystone to such brutes. Still saying that, huh? Look, I've had it up to here with the voice's rules. If you settle down, I'll explain everything. Ooh, I'm afraid that's not enough. We're out of time. This is a supervised closed world. The rules are everything. Am I right? Right as rain? And here's a rule for you. The losers must exit the stage. She has us dancing in the palm of her hand. Did you say something? Nothing. Now give me my damn keystone back. Sheesh. No need to be so aggressive. So, now that I've kept up my end of the bargain, what have you learned so far? A whole lot of nothing. Rabbit, uh, Rachel Alucard, seems to know something, but she's not talking. Look, if I hold on to this keystone, it'll get you out of this world, too. So hurry up and get lost. Yes, yes. But do be careful. A keystone. Like the ones the Alucard family used to control. Now this is interesting. The atmosphere here feels different somehow. The goal must be ahead. But she's not here either. Guess I better keep looking. You have arrived. Wait. S? I have been waiting for you. For me? Don't tell me you're after this thing too. Correct. The keystones are the heart of this world, the Phantom Field. I have been tasked with collecting them. Phantom Field? You... what do you know about this place? This place is an ephemeral world. A momentary dream, born from a consciousness wishing for a world of its own. And the linchpins of that dream are the crystals, one of which you hold. So, this... The crystals can connect worlds. Each chose an individual world and brought their respective players here. However, this is where the dream ends. Ragna the Blood Edge, please hand over your keystone. If I give this to you, what will you do with it? Are you telling me you're going to take everyone back to their original worlds? It is not my place to end this dream. The only one who can do that is her. I merely wish to fulfill my mission, to complete my contract. Contract? Yes, contract. I shall collect all of the keystones. Then, my wish will be granted. The thing I've dreamed of will be mine. Huh? Enough talk. It is time to complete my mission. You want to fight, huh? Well, too bad. We're the only ones here. In this world, a one-on-one -on -one won't cut it. Do not worry. <sighs> what the hell is that? There's one. If I create another shadow, the conditions will be met. Come on, this is just bizarre. One shadow is enough. Hmm? If you have the resolve to use that blade, then mine will be there to meet it. Jin? Brother, I knew you had to be here. I wanted to see you so badly, brother. 
Jin, I don't have time for your bullshit right now. Oh, I'm aware, brother. I know exactly what's going on here. We have an obstacle to eliminate first. Jin Kisaragi, a wielder of the power of order. Huh. Spare me the small talk. Let's get started. I'm looking for information, and you're gonna give it to me. Try. You had no chance against us in the first place. No one could ever sever the bond between me and my brother. <sighs> I mean, you're not wrong, but let's not get too weird in front of the girl here, Jin. This is truly unfortunate. I sincerely hoped. You look really disappointed in yourself. I could not fulfill the contract. My power was insufficient. I don't care about your contract. Tell me why you want the keystones. The one who seeks the crystals is Rachel Alucard. She is collecting the keystones. That is the only way to escape this world. So you're telling me that Rachel knows how to get home? Knowing Rachel, it's probably some method only she can use. Correct. That is why Rachel Alucard... <sighs> no. The Keystone. Whoa, what? Why is it lit up like that? I sense a power akin to the Azure emanating from within the crystal. The Azure? Could it be? The compressed energy is expanding, trying to free itself from the crystal. And as it grows, it's beginning to become unstable. Unstable? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Tremors? It couldn't be. This is supposed to be its own isolated space, which means... This world itself is shaking. Brother, let's go at once. I'll destroy it with Yukianasa. Right! Wait! Are you sure it's okay to cut it? It's too late. that this place is the center of this world. Huh. Took you long enough to get here. That voice. This is your doing, isn't it? Ragnar the Blood Edge, you've succeeded in protecting the Keystone and reaching the goal. Goal? You mean... That's right! You are the winner. I'm not here to play your damn games. What are you really after here? What did you make me do? What indeed? Well, you will soon understand. Just what your actions have brought. Every word you say just pisses me off more. Brother! What the... The Keystone's lighting up. 
By coming into contact with so many people from other worlds, you allowed me to gather all of the information I needed. Which let me fulfill my purpose. What is this? This is my true form. And it's all thanks to you, Ravna the Blood Edge. Many brave souls, their passions ablaze, flocked to you to fight for the Keystone. Their very existence, their souls, their energy, everything intersected and combined as you fought. Ultimately giving me form in this world. So you used me, you bastard. Now, let us begin the next sequence. What are you scheming? Ravna! Ravna, are you all right? Rachel! Noel! It seems we're too late. She's already attained form. Damn it, Rachel, you knew what was going on, didn't you? What the hell is that thing? It's something my father sealed away a long, long time ago. A device built for observation across dimensional boundaries. It can reach through dimensional boundaries to extract subjects from different worlds and analyze their information. Then, having established links with said subjects, it advances to their world and begins to invade. Invade? This is ridiculous. What a nuisance. Major Kisaragi! You're here too, are you? Do you plan to get in my way again? Leave the squabbling for later, will you? If we leave this creature be, it will begin to advance upon our world. And once there, it will begin to take over. We must keep it contained at all costs. R right! You sound awfully motivated, Rabbit. Of, of course I am. Our world is in danger, after all. In fact, I'd argue that you should be treating this with a little more urgency, Ragnar. She's right. We gotta stop that thing. Something still feels wrong about all this, but... Now, time to create a new world. It seems the first order of business is stopping that thing. Okay, punk. Show's over. Let's settle this once and for all. We'll figure out the details later. Let's go, brother. Get ready. Get ready.
is falling apart. That's right, it is. You lost. And the loser must exit immediately, right? <laughs> I lost! I really lost! Oh, how disappointing! How disappointing! eventually disappear. Disappear? Then what's gonna happen to us? Hmm. Who knows? But I imagine we'll be fine. Our worlds are already connected. You better be right about this. Indeed. However, it is odd. Odd? I thought that when we defeated that thing, the Keystone would return to its original form. Where did the Keystone go anyway? Whoa! The floor's giving out! We're gonna fall! No! <laughs> what... What happened? Am I... near Ikaruga? The air feels different from before. Does that mean I'm home? Hey, Noel! Jin! Rachel! No response. Guess they could have been sent back somewhere else. But I gotta make sure they made it back too. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. But I better go look for them. What the hell was up with that world anyway? It almost feels like it was all a bad dream. A dream, you say? Oh, Raggy, Raggy, Raggy. Surely you know that was no dream. <laughs> oh, the Keystone. A little piece of something the late Clavis Alucard once sealed. It's just one little crystal, but inside rests the power that created that ephemeral world. And I am thrilled, Raggy. Perhaps due to the unusual circumstances, or perhaps due to your naivete, you started letting your guard down around me. Thanks to that, I was able to get my hands on this without so much as breaking a sweat. Now, while there's only a little bit of energy left in here, there are all sorts of things I can do with it. It took some doing to get this toy, but I can't wait to start playing. <laughs> oh, this will be fun. <laughs> 